And now it's time for... Finally, Finally thoughts. thoughts. So what did you feel about the game? Um, I really like this game. I like that you make a story, um, and that you're making a story, and that you're making a story. <laughs> I would give it a four. <laughs> <laughs> I also like the art on it. Um, yeah, so. And I like the matching aspect of it. And, like, if I were to play it again, I would pay more attention to your. The runes and symbols. The runes and, shit. and yeah. symbols and shit. Um, but otherwise, it's a fun game. Yeah, and what'd you, what did you what, what did you give it? I gave it a four, four. already, Jared. I couldn't Listen. remember. That's why I said, what did you give it? <laughs> um, yeah, I, so I've played this before on my own. This is my first time playing it with another person. It is very fun. I like the aspect of like how the cards like up playing against you. You're a piece of shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> made you, made you lose a companion. Jerry, stop stepping on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I made you lose a companion. I sabotaged your uh -huh. attempt. It was you great. killed my animal companion. I did kill your animal companion. Though. I loved it. Um, Jerry like came behind, came behind me one day. I was just in my no, settlement and he went. <laughs> not me. Your animal companion betrayed you. Not me. Oh. This is all your story. Not this guy. But um. Yeah, I, I, I very much love the game. Uh, I have all the expansions for it because oh, so. there's only two. But okay. um, the, the third one came out on Kickstarter that I backed and mm. is on this way, hopefully. Um, it's not on this way. It just ended. <laughs> anyway, I got all the expansions mm -hmm. because it's a story-based game. And the two expansions that they have for it are written for Brian Sanderson's... Uh, one of his novels. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, Patrick Rothfuss who my wife loves both of them. So I was like, this will be a perfect way to get her to play it. She hasn't touched it. Um, maybe one day she will. Maybe one day. Something about metal. Someone in the comments can tell me. Um, but yeah, so I love this game. I gave it a four as well. Having played it with someone, it's a it's a four for me. So if you all like story-based games, one of the things I really do like about it, as Madi pointed out, the artwork is just amazing. The artwork's pretty um, cool. This can really make you, like you can use this as a basis for D&D &D characters. Oh yeah. You can also use this as a basis for like NPCs in the game. It's that'd like, be super fun to like. This is a full like, fleshed out character. Yeah, that'd be super fun to be like, this is what you guys are gonna. Exactly. It's like, you don't get to pick your character. You get to pick like what your character looks like and stuff, but. Like we can randomly figure out your, your background and your motivation, and mm -hmm. then we just make it into a character. So yeah, that was the game, Call to Adventure. Maybe we'll get one of the expansions on there so I can finally play it. Um, I'd love to play an expansion. And if you like this, leave a like, comment, comment or, or subscribe. And you can also check out more information about us below and ways to support us. Come back next time for more stuff where this guy tells a great story. <laughs> and this lady wins most <laughs> of the time. No, I don't, don't care about that part. <laughs> Rude. Bye. Bye. See you next time on The Broken Seal, where I'm gonna we cut play all this. games. It doesn't and, count. And we have fun You're playing the games and putting it online games. and playing games. We have the fun. We have the fun? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good time.